Oh god, I really don't want to have to do this. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and man, I've held my tongue on CinemaSins for a long time. But you know what? I'm here to promote something of mine that I'm proud of. That's right. Movie World is my movie channel where I only talk movies, and I'm trying to grow the audience over there. Uh, no drama, just fun movie talk. And we have a new show that I've teamed up with Vito uh, called Best Movie Ever. And this week, we're dropping our second episode, Why Battlefield Earth is the Best Movie Ever. We have to watch these terrible movies and actually speak about the positively and it's opened me up uh, in a new way Vito and I are having a blast doing this because we have to look at these typically bad movies uh, but put a positive spin and try to find what is good about it because let's be honest no filmmaker goes out to make a bad movie just a lot of stuff just sometimes goes wrong and that's where CinemaSins comes into play everything wrong with Speed Racer in 19 minutes or less God, look I'm gonna I like Speed Racer I think Speed Racer was totally un, uh, just not appreciated in its time. It was ahead of its time. Uh, but look, the whole idea of best movie ever, this show I've done here, which I implore you go to Movie World and subscribe. I'll put a little uh, I card up here. It should be up there. Huh? Go check that out. Uh, make sure you've subscribed and better yet, hit the bell to all alerts. You get notified. Apparently, that's the only way you get videos in your feed is if you also hit the bell. That's how annoying YouTube is. But the idea of this was because of Honest Trailers, a show I created a while back, which I don't work on anymore. And, uh, but Cinema Sins was one that sort of jumped up after us pretty quickly. And uh, look, I don't have a problem with the guys behind Cinema Sins. I think Jeremy's a good guy, uh, Chris. I think they genuinely are good guys, and I'm not didn't like fake interest around them. But I never really loved their format. If I'm being honest, I think it's kind of lazy. That said, I respect the fact that a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy it, and they did massively well. In fact, they surpassed us a lot with Honest Trailers. There was a friendly rivalry where we'd sort of pay attention. Why? How do we do better than that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were really riding the algorithm. Uh, Chris, I think, of the two, was a SEO expert. And if you guys don't know the backstory of CinemaSins, they were riding the SEO keywords and stuff and figuring out how do we do something movie-related and just ride that wave. Uh, and they really did ride the Honest Trailer wave. I firmly believe it. They were using some of our keywords early in the day. And not that they're not allowed. Kudos to them. But I do think Honest Trailers, you know, obviously they saw the success in that and found another format and wrote our our, our trending uh, to success. And uh, look, again, I don't say it to be petty or bitter. I just, it's, it's just the reality. But I look at this show now and I, I think, you know, good for them. They're doing really well. I mean, they have 9 million subscribers. I don't think Screen Duck he's ever was able to surpass seven. Uh, so, I mean, they're successful. So, <laughs> bravo. Whatever I say, I guess, doesn't matter. Uh, but from a format perspective... Look, I've never been a fan of it. It's overly long. I think it's overly critical. I think the name Everything Wrong With is just, it is negative. And I don't think they actually give you what they're, they're, they're telling you they're going to give you. They get lost in weird little in-jokes and things that, to me, isn't actually what's wrong with the movie. From a format perspective, I think it would be more fun to actually... And we, that's what we tried to do when we wrote one of these. Actually, we wrote Everything Wrong with Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I, I can tell you from experience in writing it, it was so much easier to do than the Honest Trailer was. Honest Trailer was a format that required some jokes and you know stuff, not to say you know Honest Trailers was rocket science, but I'm telling you, doing it everything wrong with and just watching the movie and keeping notes uh, is easy. The Honest Trailer format was a lot harder because we really challenged ourselves. We made a writer's room. We, we tried to make it sort of a fun take on the films. So anyway, long story short, look, we've had our beefs. Maybe I'll get into that in another video someday down the line if you guys want that. But I thought, you know what? Let's finally watch one of these and see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was just judging these unfairly. Let's watch and everything wrong with and see if it still is as bad as I remember it being. Maybe it's better. Uh, so I picked this one just because this is what they dropped today. Oh, there's an ad. Sorry, I should have should have cleared that before. Uh, let's watch Everything Wrong with Speed Racer in 19 minutes or less. Oh, that's why I'm dreading this. It's so long. Uh, but let's see. Can I make it through all 19 minutes? Will I give up before it's over? Uh, I'm going to have to turn the volume down just for sake of uh, copyright stuff. Uh, but everything wrong. All right, so around the gate, I'm already triggered because they totally stole the dunk, dunk, dunks from Honest Trailers. That's that's literally the same noise we used. That I, I remember pulling that noise when I put the comments up for Honest Trailers. They literally just took the same sort of style and have, have run with it and kept it to sort of seem like it was similar. 
but yeah, it's my first bone to pick with them. You tell me, oh no, they're not, they didn't copy. Come on, guys, you did copy a little bit. At least acknowledge your your forefathers. Uh, but here we go. Okay, now I like speedrunners. Using the reading vocabulary part, but there are clearly mostly math problems on the page. Also, question twenty nine says that Jeremy has eight hats and his friend has twice as many. So how many does his friend have? And the answer of sixteen doesn't show up. Is eight? Uh, yeah, okay. Twice as many. Yeah. Why? That's funny. Okay. Those two are good sins. That's exactly what I'd expect on this show. They zoomed in. They proved this is this is the sort of silly IMDb, you know, false things that I would expect. So so far so good. Anywhere. This is the test he turned in last week. But he waited until he took another test to call his parents? Clearly this kid spent way too much time playing Mario Kart's Rainbow Road Track on the Nintendo GameCube. Speed races! How, how is that a sin? That was a joke that had nothing to do with the movie. Slow down! Jesus Christ, his name is Speed Racer? What do you think he's going to be obsessed with then? If I named my kid Satan Worshipper, would I be surprised if he turned out to be a Pittsburgh Steelers fan? I guess the movie is saying that Speed sees the world... So, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers joke? And then what, what is... It? Again, that's where I... This is where they are. Now they've already lost me again. What does this have to do with movie sins? And Sonic These are Jeremy sins. The Hedgehog, but goddamn. Is this going to be tough to get through for 78 minutes? 135 minutes? Holy... Come on, please. Wow, show your bias. Please, 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 please. You've truly got to admire a film committed to being this annoying. It's like the Wachowskis watched 100 hours of SpongeBob SquarePants and said, yes, that, but for over two hours and based on the 1960s cartoon. Your business. Uh, see, another reason, another reason why these are longer than Honest Trailers, as you're seeing it right now, they can put mid-rolls in. There was a big struggle we had in Honest Trailers where they were constantly pushing me to put more ads in, to figure out how can we make the show longer so they can put those sweet mid-rolls in. It used to be 10 minutes, now it's 8 minutes. Uh, and so uh, you'll see some Honest Trailers are trying to stretch over that 8-minute mark so they can put mid-rolls in just like they did. And we're already a minute in, so good on them monetizing the hell out of this longer format. So even if the views are lower, cha-ching, 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 instead of ding, ding, ding. But hey, good on them. I, I mean, I would do the same thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Long it was and tedious. Hokio drift. Is Rex really driving his little brother around at this kind of speed without anyone wearing helmets? I'm sure that in whatever year this is, they've made great advancements in safety, but that I can't imagine they've gotten to not needing a helmet safe. Okay, I'll accept that one. So far, the first one and that one are the best ones. Everything else has just been annoying commentary and biased hate hatred of the movie, which I think is unfair. This is a fun movie. Close your eyes and listen. This is a terrible driving lesson, especially for a grade schooler. First thing you need to know about driving That's is funny. to keep your goddamn yes. eyes open. I accept that one as well. See? All right, so sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're annoying. I think there would be a more boring event to attend live than NASCAR, but this takes the taco. Even the fans in the good seats can't see shit. I've never seen an editing job that made me want to narf harder all over myself. Thank God I didn't watch this fucking thing in an IMAX theater. I disagree on the the visuals are great, but they are right. I, I don't know how live fans watch this. I guess there are monitors everywhere, but who's filming it? Uh, this would be impossible to watch live. That's a valid point. Okay, so now we're in a different race, and Rex is racing now? Where is it the younger version of Speed? I didn't expect that I had to watch this sucker more times than Tenet to figure out what's going on. Jeepers, he could do it, Pops. I like how the racer family decided to have three kids, like 12 years apart per each kid. Ah, sudden Wednesday Adams. Why? Also, this why movie are... is like we're switching back and forth. Why is Wednesday Adams a movie sin? Do you get what I, why I'm annoyed? There's moments of really clever, like, calling out sort of gaffes in a movie. And then there's just random unfunny stuff. It's always been my criticism. It's like, what's your format? I, I, I just, I, I, that's why I'm not a fan. I've never really watched these ongoing because I'm like, well, wait, that's that's not a sin. Wednesday Adams is a sin. Fourth between the current race on some major network, a classic race on ESPN Five, and an episode of Modern Family. Hey pops, a guy told me to give this to you. That was a good sin. scene that they cut to. Why is it a sin? Why are these movie sins? They're just format we have to stick to because you guys watch it so we'll just do what we got to do big fan turns out it's a bomb that's timed perfectly for a kid to bring it back to his house and give to his dad just as it's about to blow up bombers they think so fourth dimensionally rex hears a bomb in the package and instead of immediately running outside and throwing it far away he decides to go with this stupid method not only could this bomb have blown up while he did this but it also could have killed other people you walk out that door now you better <laughs> I mean, sure, they're right, but now you're looking at the minutia of what they have to find out to call it wrong, and it's just like, that feels very Speed Racer cartoon, the fact that he did that with the go-kart. So I'm like, it's just, it's too much. It is, it is, 
two minutes, 45 minutes, he's so fast talking, he's spinning so much out. Like some of these sins could have been cut, but there's sort of a, they need it to be long. I would argue, why does it need to be 19 minutes or less? I don't, I don't follow. Do you guys really, I mean, why do you, what do you like so far about this? Am I being negative just to be negative? I just, I have trouble with it. I don't, I don't understand why this is still such a phenomenon. And it is. Kudos. Kudos for being a phenomenon. Or not ever come back. It's amazing how the weather knows what's up whenever there's turmoil. Like at the Brady house, there's complete sunshine and they're just three houses down. Clever. The image I, that's on this fair. TV look like Sega CD graphics. It's like we're playing Night Trap, only somehow having less fun. <laughs> Symbolic deceleration. Review mirror shaped TVs. <laughs> also, movie has time for this. Got it! It's a kid's movie, and it's like the cartoon. It's trying to be a live-action anime. Please explain when we are. It's obviously in the future, since there are bonkers racetracks and super technology. Why does it need to know when you are? You're not in a real world. How is that a sin just because you're a nitpicker? ...that easily beats even what we have in 2021. But then there's nostalgic bullshit like this rotary phone that makes everything anachronistic. F*** it. I'm adding five extra sins for my frustration. Have you seen... There's no rhyme or reason, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> okay, good sin counter. Papers this morning, they're all nothing. Trixie just saw Speed wake up and come out of the bedroom, but still asks if he's read the papers that morning. Sinestro Foods, a subdivision of Royals and Industries. Sinestro, huh? Like Sinestro, but pronounced the same? As in their motives are sinister? Look, they're a food company. We know they're evil. You don't have to spell it out. God, he sounds so bored. Why is he so bored already? I, 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 I just, it's a dread to keep I'm, I, it feels like I've watched 10 minutes it's only been 3 minutes and 45 seconds I'm just why it's like I guess that's the part of the joke but when we did John Bailey board on an honest trailer it was to make a joke I like oh god you know we did it we did it once in a while as a joke but then we did it quickly and moved on as a joke to acknowledge sort of the boredom but 3 minutes in you can't just beavable oh god i'm gonna authority i'm already bored I, I, why should i watch the rest of this show <laughs> you know you, you want to do it i don't want to do it if you don't want to do it segways why are you watching me good point you probably all tuned out <laughs> just realize andy you're doing the same thing well i'm doing it again why am i doing this to promote this go support my show best movie ever where we have fun watching movies <laughs> It's my, my, my uh, you know, finally I'm giving back after all the honest trailers and things I've done inspiring people like CinemaSins. Uh, here's where we try to give back and look at the worst movies and we are tortured, but we make it fun and we try to make it fun. So again, if you haven't subscribed or checked out, that's why we're doing this. Oops. Sorry. Trade secret. I How like to control villain. that shield from the cart. Does he have a remote that creates privacy? Who cares? Random labs Who cares? Drives around. Who or cares? In this cart's dashboard. Who cares? Wilson Industries makes their drivers play virtual reality Animal Crossing. Who cares? When someone gets that kind of money. They start thinking that the rules everybody else plays by. True. Don't mean squat to them. Facts. He then goes on to say that his sons are extremely important to him, and if Speed thinks he can arrange a deal, he's down. Despite all the evil shit he detects inside this yeah, building. Yeah, because he's trying to support his son. He's being a dad. Oh my God. God forbid. How the did this guy acquire a tank full of cartoon piranha? Do you know how hard it is? Who cares? This is a world with rotary telephones. They take a lot of time and resources to maintain and animate. Oh my God. Look, do you see that? How long that took? Two minutes in this. We already got a second commercial. Se yes, yeah, skip. Ugh. Sex alarm and Movie steals the real life video game scene from Superman 3. Gotcha. Yeah, but how did Racer X know to do that? Uh, uh, this movie goes from animated to live action back to animated again. It's the most disorienting thing since Michael Douglas went into that virtual reality file system looking for incriminating evidence. And that's a funny callback, but who cares? It's the whole movie's animated. It's a, it's a pi crazy dream. Important. It's required by law for a character to mention that winning isn't important in any kind of sports movie, but here it seems super egregious. Plus, we don't know anything about this character other than he's wanted to race since he was a kid. I'm guessing winning is a big deal. Oh, so you learned so much in this in the cartoon version? It's a, based on the cartoon! Oh, God! There's no way this asshole Spritel sat in the trunk with a monkey and managed to stay quiet all this time. Oh. This person, Jeremy, you've never watched cartoons. You're just doing this to just be annoying. There's no, there's, why is this fun? You're just, you're just digging for stuff. Oops. He didn't set foot in his shop for over a year. Expositional green screening. I think 
we got nice again. You think you've... St- they say it's a comedy show. We're not making fun of the movie. It's just a comedy show. Where's the jokes then? Where are the jokes? You might have mice again? Again? How does a private jet that is this immaculate when Sprite all isn't f- it up have mice ever? But as Ben Burns sat guzzling cold fresh milk. They hide in shit. They hide in boxes. They probably had food on the plane, did they not? Yeah, well, food, boxes of food can be infested with mice that then can escape and then suddenly be on the plane. That's how mice get on a plane. You're telling me mice can't be on a plane? Dude, they had mother effing, mother effing, mother effing snakes on planes. Milk in victory lane. Drinking milk after winning is such an Indianapolis 500 thing, and it wasn't a tradition until the 50s, that this casual reference to guzzling cold, fresh milk after a 1943 race has an empty ring to it. Why Why was that sin in? Who? Do, why, why didn't you just cut that one? It was so long. You had to s- explain so much. What was funny about the fact that, well, we didn't have milk back then. Well, we have to go to 1443 to drink the milk. What's funny? Why? I thought this was a joke show. Why was that funny? You guys need a better editor. Trim these down. Then you wouldn't get ads every three minutes. This monologue is for all those people who thought that the architect's speech in Matrix oh. Reloaded was too banal, vapid, and pedestrian. Oh, all that's, that matters is power. That is such BS! This is getting intense. Time to see what Sprite was up to. Oh, well, I'm extremely sorry I asked. This is what it's like when you take acid and you've been called in for an emergency babysitting session. The right thing to do is say no, but you're only $500 away from saving Aunt Rudy's farm. And the Messersmiths are known to stay out late. You could get extra pay. It's at this point where the coked out younger brother and his chimp companion are racing around this super secure facility with impunity while the guitar solo from Leonard Skinner's Freebird is playing. And now do you remember how dumb this movie is? I, it's a kid's movie for one. And two, my kid loves that part. And I think it's it's supposed to it's fun because it's supposed to be like the cartoon. There's moments of serious, there's visual brilliance to it. Yeah, there's a couple silly moments in a kid's movie. It's not rocket science. I mean, I don't understand. We're not curing cancer here. We're watching movies. And of all the movies, I think this movie is actually very ahead of its time. Visually exciting. They tried something new. Okay, there's a scene he's hyped up on sugar with the monkey. The monkey's in the show. They tried their best to sort of keep the adaptation. This isn't some original dumb weird thing they've made up. They're based off a very long running popular series, Speed Racer, which I do think actually does as best a live action could have done, try to adapt the craziness of that cartoon. So that's why it's there. So sure, you could think the cartoon's stupid and the movie's stupid, okay. Then why are you watching it? You're biased. What is it? So it's just a, you are hating on movies, is what this is, right? I mean, you're caught. He knew he was going to win. This whole racing is rigged so that corporations can make money plot. Seems like something you'd tell a racer after he's signed the contract, not after he's turned it down. Sprite manages to see some illegal you missed the whole point. spear hook during his candy bender, and unsurprisingly, will factor into the plot later. And my main question is, why is this shit visible to anyone for any reason? Now the security guard shows up after Sprite basically just had a reign of terror in the hallways and killed seven. What, you're not going to talk about, oh, why is he dressed up like a gorilla? The guy doesn't notice that the gorilla isn't a human face, ding. Well, Segway riders. Listen to me and listen, good kid, because I'm going to give you one more history lesson. Awesome! I thought it was a little too early for the whole villain and exposits his entire evil plan to the protagonist bull. But I guess since we're here, make sure to get it it's all. It's like a real life anime oh. moment here. I'd love that shot. About objects on screen being closer than they appear, and we see Racer X's face so close to the screen that he's practically licking it. But when yeah, the movie cuts the, to the next the shot, joke. Racer X isn't nearly that close. Much less closer than he appears. Oh, uh, you got. Oh finally. man, ever wow! F this movie. You're right. To a mountain, and one of those protective balls with the driver pops out instantaneously. When we saw this earlier, it took a little more time. Oh, to get oh, oh the ball the doesn't come out as quick as it is. Oh. Right before he crashed. So, at what point does the bubble wrap? You grow? had to slow that clip down, mind you. Nice try, Mr. Slow Mo Editor. You slow moed that clip, you liar. I saw what you just did. You don't, don't, you're, so you're just lying. You're bubble slow moing this down, shot. Crashed. So at what point does the That's slow motion. To start rapping? The movie goes way quicker. So is this sort of race combat acceptable in this league? Do they even use the Oh my god, another ad! In catastrophic situations like this? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my I don't know if I could do it, guys. I don't want I don't, I don't know if I can do it. We're right, seven minutes in. There's been th- pre-roll, there's been four ads. Seven minutes in. Uh, so they can get more money off this. This is how it works. I mean uh, uh. Soon after that. And all you're showing is the one monologue scene over and over again. He was pulling a Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 on us, and none of that actually happened, but it did. 
They flash forwarded so hard, they ended up flashing back. They tried to take you to the park and you never wanted to get out of the car. What started out as a formidable and passionate fascination with racing has now revealed itself to be a pretty gruesome obsession. Look, I want Speed to succeed too, but he couldn't even go to the park when he was a kid. Why does he always wear that mask? If any of you actually knew his identity, you'd become targets for his enemies. If you're going to be the Basil Exposition in this scene, why does Racer X even need to be here? The only thing he says in this scene is Casa Cristo, the name of the cross-country race that Speed's brother most definitely didn't die in because he's Racer X. You can need an alibi. Uh, it's just the voice so monotone and annoyed every time he talks. It just doesn't have, it's just not fun to me. And again, I don't need to just keep piling on. This is successful. Good for you guys. You're making money. You're throwing in a lot of ads. Good good for you. All the SEO algorithm play that they're doing. And honestly, I guess that's maybe where my bias just came from. I just, do I, be, I do believe they're movie fans. I do believe they're clever and smart people. And I respect the fact that they've built their own little empire there. And Jeremy's written a book and done a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Jeremy seems like a good guy. Uh, I've, I've met him a few times. I, I do support him. He speaks up about mental health. I don't mean to bash him, but this show, it just, this show annoys me. I, I'm not going to hide my disdain for the format of the show, but um, I guess I'm in the minority on this one because a lot of people like it. Uh, I, there's no reason to keep watching this. I give up. I, I made it eight minutes and 18 seconds before I gave up. Ding, 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 ding. I lose. Happy to lose this one. Look, the reality is like, it just, I don't, I like shows. If you're going to give me a format and or go everything wrong with, then give me everything wrong with. Uh, or if you're going to be the joke show, then be funny. I, I just, I don't find these jokes funny. Now, not every honest trailer hit, uh, I, for sure, and especially nowadays, the ones I've re watched. Sometimes they still do. Spencer has, still has a good one once in a while, uh, but the last one we watched last week uh, to promote, again, why I'm doing this. Best movie ever. Uh, but look, I, I just think when, you, when you're making a joke show, it's got to be even harder. So uh, the, the point of what I'm trying to do in this show is, sure, we make some jokes, but it's more just about getting to know Vito, uh, Vito and I of an us, sort of the struggle of having to watch these bad movies and find the positive in them because I, that's, that's, that's the twist. That's what's fun. Hopefully you'll get to know us. You'll have fun watching us. And clearly you guys got to know and like Jeremy. You like his show. They're still, I mean, they're not doing as well as they used to, but still add those up plus the 10 ads per video. Uh, they're doing very well. So I don't think they care what I think uh, at all. Uh, I do wish them well. Continue to do it since people like to watch it. Good for them. Uh, they got in the algorithm early. They read it just like Honest Trailers, and they've been riding the algorithm better than Honest Trailers. Let's be clear. Honest Trailers will, uh, it seems like, still break about a million, uh, but they're doing about that every week because they do two episodes a week, so they drop two. And I remember when they did that, I saw that. I was like, oh. They're going to destroy us. Why are they adding too much? It's just, it's going to kill the, it's going to beat it down faster. I was very aware of that, of why we didn't make Honest Trailers go twice a week. Because one, it's a lot of work. And I knew the more we just gave it to them over and over and over again and more formats and everything else, the more it would just tire down at some point. And I was trying to stretch it out a little longer than just have it be killed right away. Because I do think even the Honest Trailer format, let's be honest, it's stale. They're both stale formats, but people just watch it because it's what's been around. They've gotten into the algorithm. It's like an old website. It gets better traffic than a new website because it's been around and it has a lot of old views and YouTube likes that it. it's like potato chips. You can buy one, you can bite one, get the next one. But both shows, neither of them perform the way they used to. Uh, they're they're the shells of what they used to be. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's still massive successes that you know are uh, easy income for, especially for them because they don't have the same cost that uh, Screen Junkies has. They they wisely just focused on the show, spent their money wisely, hired a couple staff that would do what they do. But guys, they're making a lot of money off of this, no doubt. They're they're doing just fine. Plus, they don't live in L.A., so they do just fine. And to that, bravo, Jeremy and Chris, kudos and team. Just because I don't like your format, who cares? Uh, look, I we had a beef at one point, which did rub me the wrong way, but clearly I rubbed him the wrong way. No, 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 it is what it is. We don't have to always like each other. But I do, I genuinely do respect the fact that they've built this. Uh, just because that doesn't jive with me doesn't mean they're not allowed to do what they want to do. Obviously, they will continue to, and you'll continue to watch. But I'm curious what you think. Uh, do, uh, do you feel the same way, or do you like the stuff? Uh, the, the format that they chose to do. Do you think it doesn't matter? Am I overthinking it? Uh, tell me down in the comments below. If you like this sort of stuff, make sure you subscribe here. But more importantly, subscribe over here to Movie World and check out Best Movie Ever. I'm going to put it at the end of this video. Uh, hopefully, you'll show it some love. There's two episodes. There's Godzilla and the latest, Battlefield Earth. I'd love for you to go show that some attention because it's hard.
hard to build a new movie channel in this day and age, especially with a 30 minute format discussion. But it's edited. We put in clips. I do a lot of effort on this, but that's the problem. I'm, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time editing these and the views are like, eh, but it's what I want to do. So if you guys like my takes on movies, if you like what I've done in honest trailers and you want to you come show uh, some respect, it would mean a lot. So go check it over there. In fact, I'll put it right there. Go watch it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. And what other shows do you want me to react to and give you my feedback from an insider? Let me know also down below. Thanks, everybody.